Welcome back to Brenda Sushi Life Noting. Uh, today I want to be sharing with you um, kind of like the creations of one of my uh, original character. So this is like a, a stack of cups, right? In a rainbow color. And that's basically the animations that I just did a few minutes ago. And I thought, uh, I, I want to be sharing the creation of this as well. I actually made the whole thing using nodes. Um, I'm using a spare chalk add-on for this. Um, what's Im really important is the actually the bones. Uh, you don't actually need spare chalk to do that, but uh, it's kind of interesting. So I'll, I'll show you very, very quickly. So if you turn on spare chalk and create a line, I'll save this as demo warm. Um, this is a line, and if we use BMesh Viewer, we're gonna generate lines very, very quickly. And I want the lines to go up. So that's a, by default is a single line with two vertices. I want to have five vertices. And yeah, it's a line. It's nothing more, nothing less. So I can just delete this. Um. So we have, oops, I will select the line, left click now, and if we go to skin modifier, we actually have a skin based on that line. And with the skin, you can actually select the line, if you can see the line using wireframe, and then, you know, make anything, like, it, can, it could be like a tail or a tentacle or something and then from here you just create armature and may, now we have this armature I like the visibility of armature to be in the front so by default it should be in the front and now we can animate this guy then that's basically how we create our worms I mean I create a, I create a cup uh, differently um, using spread chalk as well but uh yeah if you want to animate this guy this character um, you can I'll just apply the skin modifier now we have just the armature with the armatures being selected I'll jump into the post mode and then we can test test out the deformations it should be pretty basic and simple but it's, it's actually very interesting what you might notice the bottom part cannot move you can rotate it but you cannot drag it no matter you hold you tap G and you can't move it it's really weird right that's because of one thing I don't know why but if you go to edit mode and with the skeleton under the relation turn off connected that's by doing that, now if you go back to post mode, you can animate it. Um, there might be a reason for that, but uh, if you have just a tentacle character like this and you want to animate it, now you want to animate it freely, now you can. Okay, so that's uh, one way to go about doing that. Oh, by the way, back to stretch off. If you want to kind of have fun a little bit more, with the line, you can use the line and then you use a BMesh viewer, create a bunch of icosphere, wherever the line is, you can still do that. And yep, something like that. Now you can, done with, done with spread chalk, go back to this guy into object mode create a, a bunch of just give it a color I mean you don't you don't have to do this but it's kind of fun give it a give it the same material but I'll for this I will be just be using matcap and random color and then one two three four five select all of them select the armature the last and then control P 
automatic way. Now, if you animate this guy, oh, let, let me turn off selector. Oh, there is no turn off selectable there anymore. Anyway, select the armature, select the pose mode. Here, I want to show you a quick trick. With the pose, when posing in Blender, there's this option for X axis mirror and also auto IK. Auto IK is really cool. So basically, if you select this and then move it, that's what you get, right? But with auto IK on, if you go back to transform now, select everything, tap I, lock rod scale. But now, if you, if I animate it like the, for example, like the worm, I can drag this guy and then yeah it's doing that which is really pretty cool <laughs> you can easily animate worms like this if worm move you know it's, it has this kind of IK kind of motion oh you can't really do that you can try I mean you can try dragging the back part and then move it like that and then keyframe yeah okay that's actually working but this is only for like a quick demo but it's actually really really quite useful because you have IK at, at the front and at the back if you have a character uh, you want to animate it properly with a proper rig this is probably not how you animate but still to be able to know this kind of thing is uh, very very interesting now that you're done with this you can export it out as usdz as usual file okay we have around 120 frame of animations i'm gonna show you file export fbx usdz demo worm this is my pipeline or how i work with the usdz stuff Delete everything file, import fbx, bring it back in. And now you have clean animations. Clean animations, very cool, very important. With this guy, you want you want to also apply the extra transform if you have. Control A, apply all transform. They are still animating. Okay. 120 frame. File export gldf now we are into something hopefully this works gldf export go back to our desktop demo worm usdc convert convert few seconds and it's done our material problem with material that's really common when you export FBX and bring it back really uh, this should be ah, I mean it's better you have UV and texture anyway so that's for another for another tutorial but you got the warm and you can really just bring it into reality composer scale it you almost always need to scale it reset the position the P4 is correct. Animation is supposed to be working. Behavior. Now uh, you want to tap and you want to replace this with animation. Repeat, restart. Okay, play. When I tap, it's gonna start animating. Okay, so that's what I want to show you. So if you tap it, go back. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so that's for AR. So, like I said, this cup snake is very, very interesting because you learn that you're, you're now you learn how to animate this guy. So, if I delete all animation again, select all, delete all keyframe, you can select this guy with the auto IK on. Now you can animate like that. Very, very handy. There is also IK spline, just in case you don't know. IK spline is, of course, more powerful, but you need to set it up. It's not, it's not hard. Maybe I will show it to you at some point. But this auto IK is really cool. You don't. Um, a lot of animations in so many 3D packages, like in order for you to animate, it's just you, you need so much time for you to do rigging and it's like very complicated. It gets really complicated, but it, with Blender, you have to think simple. If you think simple, you can animate anything, like from worms um, to monkey head. Next time, I'll show you how to quickly animate. So the idea is to quickly add bones and quickly rig and add to quickly animate under half an hour for AR is really, really important, I think. Uh, I don't know why you want to always do that very, very quickly, but uh, it's make everything more immediate and I propose this kind of way of working. And I believe animation tool is gonna get simpler in the future, but, and everything's gonna be like AR stuff. So yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think, so, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.